I know, I know you think he's listening. Well, that's my dog. I, I'm cool. That's just fine. I mean, he could he could listen. I know he's listening because I was told his Mike Cabongo lightning fast. Right to the Another interesting haircut in Trey Davis with a hook shot. Wow. And Cook Jr. showing his point power, forward prowess. And Cabongo. Great take by Cabongo. Good recognition. Edwin uses the screen from Bahannon, but they find an open bibs on the opposite side. Weak Great side. rebound by Cook, Cook Jr. Cook Jr. again. Jr. putting on a rebounding clinic. That's up to 12 on the night for him. Cabongo. Strong take to the rim. Everything inside and out today. Uh, hasn't really rebounded or assisted too well, but Another defensive scored. stop. That's been the difference here in this fourth quarter. We've seen some stops from the 9 on 5 before a shot even got to be taken. And it's now a five-point game as a mini run has allowed the Red Claws to regain control. Yeah, they like this little offensive set here, this little weave play. Good pass by Pryor. A Kabongo three. And it's a bucket. It's muy, 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 muy. No kidding. You see Poye here. Oh, good defense there by Kabongo. But Poye had Boucher beat. That's not that's not Boucher's strong suit. He's taking physicality in, in, the, uh, in the post. Kabongo. King of the... Taj McCall in a game where they would certainly need and certainly could use a defensive stopper or two or three. And their best defensive guy not in the game. Mike Kabongo ahead of the pack for two. Gotta come down with that. Poifers blocked from behind by Wofford. And here come the 905. Kabongo. That is a tough make. I like watching Matt Farrell play the same way I like TJ McConnell. They, they do things from a point guard standpoint that is drilled in. Uh, anticipation. As soon as you catch the ball. And as a point guard, that's your job. So I think he needs to do that a little bit more as the game goes on. Use these pick and rolls and create an advantage. Kabongo again, listening to Warren Ward. <laughs> no, they definitely have, and they're shooting at a, shooting at a high clip. Johnson, 6 for 10. Troy Copain, 7 for 14, and 4 for 7 from 3. And he's hit some timely threes more than, you know, more than anything else. So they've done a great job of, you know, being what they are, which is scorers for this, you know, Lakeland Magic team, especially with the absence of Justin Jackson leaving the game. Oh, uh, Johnson as he finishes. And then man, that touch by Dusty Hannah's. So far today, Lloyd will inbound. Speaking of Lloyd, who's averaging 23 and a half, looking for his first basket of the game. Certainly don't need to get him heated up if you're a drive fan. Three point shot, and that one. Their biggest lead was 13. Pass inside off the mark. 905 on the run. Two on two break. Faking the pass and up of the lane. The college were trying to look for an easy bucket. Raptors on a five. Stuck 15 here. Seven and a half to go. So lots of time. Yeah. Go go gonna have to take a little bit better care of the basketball going down the home stretch. Kabongo attack. Getting into the teeth of the 905's defense. A 10-point lead for. The go-go. Adele on the attack. Kicks it. Kabongo for three. He knocks it down. He was in the Star Wars movie. Yes, he was. He was that far away. Lindsay with the miss. Remember, he's on four fouls. Evans is on four fouls. Hamilton's on four fouls. And Kabongo's on. Fourth straight double-double and another rebound. Thornton for three. Thought he had it. Body motion said he thought he had it, but that went off the side iron. Here's Cabango, Thornton going for the side swipe, but Cabango goes up strong. Sends I wanted to see how he plays dealing with that hit pointer. Front rim is a recurring theme now for the Delaware Blue Goats. Fabu kick back to Cabango. Got a chance to go two for one here. Cabango, that first step so quick. He big ones. Make, I don't even think he's sweating. He's making this look really easy. Right. Well, it's an under man Raptors 905 team. Got to dig deep here. Down 20. Final shot of the third quarter of play. Two second differential. Kabongo. Using his quicks, turns. That's sweet. Little Oliver. I mean, and going back to Latin, those are great numbers. I mean, if, if, these, if the Raptors were able to make a few more shots, a few more open looks, this would have been a.
I mean, they... <laughs> You wouldn't think so by watching this performance, but I mean, every game is different, and they could, you know, they could just be struggling. Good right kick now. out, Canadian to Canadian. There from Gates, he got the loose ball, and immediately noticed Raleigh Hawkins right in front of the rim, dropped it off to him for the points. Fourteen point affair. Both teams could get at least one more possession out of this third quarter. Five second differential, game clock to shot clock. So the 9:05 will milk the clock with six to go on the shot clock. Kabungo with four on the shot clock. Kabungo with two. Kabungo. So they have 4.4 seconds to work with here, and who knows? Here comes Kabungo. Kabungo quickly goes right down the lane. He gets slapped on the arm. Just take the L and move on. Get back on defense. You were supposed to teleport there. <laughs> right? Raptors 905 about to improve to 20 and 12 of this NBA G League season, cutting the gap to just one game between them and the top seed in the Eastern Conference in the Long Island Nets. Cook Jr., why not? Like, you think the ref's gonna call and one when the ball's on the other side of the, <laughs> the court? Like, like, yeah, you know what, you're right. Let's go back and give you the free throw. Cabargo pushing the pace, that lightning, quick speed. And... Yeah. Cook Jr. Cabargo at the point with Miller, Pryor, Watford, and Boucher for the 9.05. Just under a minute and a half to go. Kabongo with the big on him. A series of hesitations. Driving kick to Pryor. The triple's up. Great execution offense. Chemistry on the offensive end was going to be a little bit of an issue with new guys getting in the rotation here. But Gemma Malalele, Leila, he drew up some sets, really utilizing the length of this lineup. He wanted to show cuts through the key, getting from wing to wing and getting that ball zipped around. Guys. He's been able to do a lot of different things in this game already he can definitely shoot the ball well and the fact that he's a defender first just makes his offense that much better good layoff converts on the hook uh he can really play defense though he can i've seen him guard some of the best players in the big east and all throughout the country he can really guard Dwayne notice for three i think he did a little bit i don't know if there's an odd kumpo that needs to jump when they dunk it that's a fact Prior. Nice pass to Kabongo as he dumps it for Watt. Here's Marcus Thornton. Trying to find his way. Shot is no good. Offensive rebound try by Hamilton, but now 905 fields the basketball over to Pryor. And, uh, and Coach Malalea. Malalela trying to implore his 905 team to move the basketball. There's wide respect. Yeah. You let that bucket count instead. You hear the boos here yeah. inside the building. So it's 35 25. It's all right. Just means, you know, you got to you gotta make one in, you know, That's in the harsh. game in regulation. Look out! That, that faked out a really good defender in notice. Yes. Bongo, quick step. Good find, Kadeem Latin. Well, Howard will have to wait till the next opportunity to check in. Kabongo. Boucher. Kabongo attacks. Kicks it. Prior three. That falls.